Morning. So, we're here to learn about river processes. First of all, we've got four processes, or four types of one process, but break up the rock. We're gonna see if we can see any evidence of those in my little spot. So, we've got hydraulic action. That's the sheer force of the water smashing against these rocks and breaking them up. Next, we've got attrition. The rocks in this flow are being smashed against each other, breaking apart. Then we've got abrasion. These big boulders, like this one I'm sitting on. When these scrape away, when this is flooding and all the snow's melting, it's enough to move these big lumps of rock and they scratch away at the bed of the river. And finally, we've got solution. Anything that can dissolve with the water is dissolved and carried away downstream. After erosion, we've got four processes of transportation. The first happens to our big rocks, like these fellas. These big rocks are gonna roll along the riverbed by a process called traction. Then we've got saltation, our smaller gravel-sized rocks. Let's have a look, see if we can find some. Like this stuff, this is gonna bounce along the riverbed. Finally, well, actually that's a bit, bit premature. Thirdly, we've got what, su suspension, which is where tiny bits of sand are gonna carry in the flow. And then this time, finally, we've got solution, which is again, all those dissolved chemicals being carried down. Our final, our third river process, which there isn't so much evidence of here, is deposition. So all of these big rocks, they've been deposited along the river channel. And that's when, when the river doesn't have enough energy to carry them. So in times of a higher discharge, the big rocks have been carried down or possibly even fallen down this waterfall and have been left at the bottom down here.